yesterday, we were fortunate to have good teammates and Jessica programmed the autonomous code so well that we were able to win almost every autonomous round. So when we tested the robot, we realized that our robot's clearance cannot go through the middle line. Our robot exceeded 18 inches in width. Therefore, we are now shortening the width of the drivetrain in order to pass our next inspection. So we're preparing for a competition in December and this is the first version of our bot and we're going to be changing it to make it better. We just made the arm move today. design of the robot. Now we are fixing the catapult system doing some final tests because it's two days until the competition and we need to scale the robot down to 18 inches cubed. So when we tested the robot, we realized that our robot's clearance cannot go through the middle line and our impact cannot go under the goal. Also the catapult, we have to find the right angle so that it can pass through. So during the first robot ins inspection, our robot exceeded 18 inches in width. Therefore, we are now shortening the width of the drivetrain in order to pass our next inspection. The game that we're playing this year is called Over Under, and the objective is to get as many tri balls, which are these green tri triangular shaped balls, onto the other side uh, from your alliance station into the goal. So you can do that either by carrying it or throwing it, and then you want to score as many as possible underneath the goal. If you have a tri ball under the goal, it's five points. Outside in your offensive zone, opposite from your alliance station, it's two points. And so uh, we've had, we'll have a total of seven qualifier matches. And then once we finish the qualifiers, we go into alliance selection, where our team will select another team to play with in the knockout round. And then we'll see where we go from there. The strategy for picking teams in your alliance is to look for a team that complements your skills and someone who will uh, accept your invitation, because the team doesn't have to accept the invitation.
were just in the process of alliance selection. We placed in third in qualifiers, so therefore we got third pick in alliance selection. For our alliance selection, it was actually quite tough since there were a lot of strong teams with better equipped robots. So we had to go quite around and ask a lot of teams. We ended up settling with a team from Japan called Momo and they have a smaller, tighter robot and it has a lot of different features that can help us. So I hope we do well in the tournament and we'll be practicing together. It was okay. We lost the first one, so we got knocked out instantly. It was unlucky in a way, because our teammate got stuck in the goal, so they couldn't move, and therefore we couldn't score any more points. We tried our best, and we did well in the qualifiers, so in the end, I think it was a good result. So the alliance election went pretty fine. We had to like find multiple groups, talk to them, and see if they had any alliance that they wanted to work with. So we got rejected a few times, found few that were considering, and then on last we found one that did not have a really high rank, but decided that sure they could work with us, so we chose to work with them. Okay, accepts. The most important thing I learned from the competition is whenever we are playing the robot or like doing anything, we should be careful. So we need to be, we need to make sure that everything go well, and then we we can start next step. What I learned is that the level of robotics is very high overall, and that you really need to think about the features in your robot very deeply about it, in a way that it works very well. Not only now, but you can code it so that it'll work later on. So you need to think about the future and the present. As well, I think we would try to start picking alliances earlier, before like before the day even started. Like maybe in the first day, we we'll start finding people that might be willing to work with us. Not on the second day and the last half an hour, and start rushing everything and like trying to find people. So in January, January twenty, will there will be another competition in Shinju, and we are going to do, join that one. For the next competition, I think the most important thing is to improve our robot. And during the match, I think something very important for me is to improve my driving skill. <laughs>